Well, the Oil Championship Series is really heating up today with another double header. This time, Kendall will compete against Castro and Quaker State against Valvoline. Unfortunately, only two teams get to advance to the next level or the Elite Eight. Which teams will they be? Well, we're about to find out. Castro Edge extended performance is guaranteed protection up to 15,000 miles with fluid titanium technology. All the oils we'll be testing today include 5W30. All of them are full synthetic motor oils. The Castro Edge claims to be an advanced full synthetic motor oil. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. Castro Edge extended performance is Castro's most advanced range of engine oils for ultimate performance and endurance. So it's guaranteed protection up to 15,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first. However, if your vehicle is under warranty, follow the oil change intervals recommended by your manufacturer. Extended service is not recommended in severe service applications such as racing, frequent towing or hauling, commercial use, extremely dusty, dirty conditions, or excessive idling. And is APIS and resource conserving. Before we begin the test, I'm going to first calibrate the weight scales and then weigh each bearing. After the test, I'll measure the amount of scoring on each bearing by taking a weight measurement and then by measuring the size of the wear scar. While the first test that we'll be conducting doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, the lubricity test will provide us with some great information on oil performance when it comes to film strength. If you want to know more about the lubricity tester, I put together a video a while back explaining how it works. Most oil brands are tested using ASTM, SAE, or API testing standards. While I don't have the equipment to do that, there are some oil properties that can easily be tested to compare oil performance. There are many important functions of engine oil, and the three that we'll be testing include the ability to handle exposure to heat, wear resistance, or film strength, and cold flow performance as new oil, as well as oil that's been exposed to heat. The lubricity test will last right at 10 minutes. During the test, we'll be making sure that the bearing is receiving a constant supply of oil and watching the bearing temperature and energy usage as well. If the weight of the bearing is the same, the size of the wear scar will determine which brand wins the competition. Kendall also has a liquid titanium protection additive. We'll be testing their GT1 Max. It's a full synthetic motor oil. The oil is licensed as APISN and ILSAC GF5. It's a premium quality full synthetic oil designed to provide maximum protection for gasoline-fueled passenger cars light trucks and sports utility vehicles operating under severe driving conditions as well as a normal everyday service. It's fortified with their exclusive liquid titanium protection additive for extra protection against engine wear and improved fuel savings. So who makes the Kendall oil? It is from Phillips 66 Company. The Quaker State SAE 5W30 claims to provide more power, ultimate durability, full synthetic, Dexos 1 Generation 2 approved. On the back of the Quaker State bottle is a comparison chart providing information on each type of oil they offer, including the type we'll be testing, the Quaker State Ultimate Durability Full Synthetic. So this is their best product for unsurpassed wear protection, extending engine life, more durability, oil resist breakdown, more performance, and extreme temperature protection. This oil meets or exceeds requirements for ILSAC GF5 and API SN+.
While well, it's be testing the Valvoline Full Synthetic, it provides enhanced protection against heat, deposits, and wear. It claims it provides 50% more wear protection than their conventional oil. It is also Dexos Generation 2 approved. Just like Quaker State, Valvoline also has their own ranking system on the back of their bottle. The Advanced Full Synthetic we'll be testing is self-rated for three stars for wear protection, four stars for extreme temperature protection, three stars for cold start protection, three stars for helping with fuel efficiency, four stars for helping prevent deposit formation, and four stars for helping prevent sludge buildup. Just like the Quaker Steak, the Valvoline meets or exceeds requirements of ILSAC GF5, as well as API SN+. Kendall is on the left and Castrol is on the right. It was a very tight race with Kendall edging out Castrol by a very small margin. Valvoline is on the left and Quaker State is on the right. Both advertise that they have very good anti-wear additives and they both do. Both brands did better than average. With that said, Quaker State walked away with the win. The lubricity test will last right at 10 minutes. During the test, we'll be making sure that the bearing is receiving a constant supply of oil and watching the bearing temperature and energy usage as well. In the next test, we're gonna see just how well each brand of oil can withstand the heat. Before we begin the test, I'll be weighing each coffee pot, then adding 200 grams of oil into each container. After the test, I'll weigh each container to calculate the oil loss caused by the heat. So why this test? Oil that evaporates quickly isn't going to protect your vehicle's engine and keep it running smoothly compared to oil that can handle the heat. Well, I don't have the specific equipment used for the NOAC volatility test, which exposes oil to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. I'm only going to heat up the oil to around 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll be rotating the oil containers every five minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. In addition to rotating the oil containers on the griddle every five minutes throughout the test, I'll be measuring the temperature of the oil in each container to make sure the temperatures of each oil are very close. At the end of this test, we're going to compare how these oils flow once they've been exposed to extreme heat. Will they increase or lose viscosity? The best case scenario is that they will continue to flow the same as they did before exposure to heat. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the griddle and allow them to cool. Once they've cooled off, we'll come back and measure how much evaporative loss occurred. Kendall started off at 417.1 grams. It now weighs 415 grams. That's a loss of 2.1 grams. Castle will start off at 442.27. It now weighs 440.43. That's a loss of 1.84 grams. Quaker State started off at 423.46 grams. It now weighs 422.27. That's only a loss of 1.19 grams. Babbling started off at 407.25. It now weighs 404.64. That's a loss of 2.61 grams. In this showdown, it all comes down to which oil performs the best on the oil flow test for Kendall and Castrol. New Castrol is in lane one, New Kendall lane two, Cooked Castrol lane three, and Cooked Kendall lane four. And the race is on with Kendall with the early lead and Castrol in hot pursuit. The cooked oils have their work cut out for them as the new oils are flowing slightly faster. This could be the tightest race we've had in the playoff series with both oils neck and neck. As they head towards the finish line, the new Kendall takes the checkered flag by about five molecules ahead of the Castrol and less than a half inch ahead of the Cooked Kendall and about an inch and a quarter ahead of the Cooked Castrol. What a race. New Valvoline is in lane one, new Quaker State lane two, cooked Valvoline lane three, cooked Quaker State lane four. New Valvoline wore its racing shoes getting out of the gate in a hurry. Quaker State is going to have its work cut out for it if it plans to win this race. The cooked oils are trying to make their move, but the Valvoline is just too fast for the competition today with Valvoline taking the checkered flag by a full inch over Quaker State. Very impressive finish.
While Castro won the evaporative loss test, Kendall won the lubricity test and the oil flow test for both new and cooked oil, so it'll advance in the series. While Valvoline won the oil flow test, Quaker State won both the lubricity test along with the evaporative loss test and will advance in the playoffs. That oil flow test gets really exciting towards the end as they're about to cross the finish line just to see which brand is going to come out on top. Regarding the oil brands we tested today, I have nothing but positive things to say. All four of these brands performed extremely well, and I would definitely consider buying each of the brands if the price was right. Regarding the Elite 8, we're about to kick that off with a little bit of change up in the style of testing just to make it a little bit more challenging for each of the brands. As I've said before, 100% of the video ideas on the channel are from viewers, so please keep those video ideas coming and I'll keep making videos. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to next time.